Assalamualaikum everyone So for today, we're gonna be testing out all the new 3D features available in Procreate 5.2 As you can see, I now have the Procreate beta installed in my iPad So we're gonna have the first look on the new Procreate So are you guys ready? Because I am So let's open it Ooh, so this is the uh, notes from the developer that you need to know all the new features so we have the uh, new memory update so you'll have a bigger larger files and you will have more layers for your work that which is good if you're doing animation and then we have 3d painting which is the one that i'm most excited about because i do some instagram filters and some of my filters require 3d object and some of the 3d objects require texture painting and it is quite difficult to paint in the software that i'm using so i'm really excited to try that one and then we have lightning lighting studio uh, where you can uh, view your 3d objects with beautiful lighting and then we have the ability to view in ar we have material brushes for 3d painting we have 3d animated export 3d transform stroke stabilization so before this we we're using streamline but now we have an additional stroke stabilization and then we have page assist PDF import back then we cannot import PDF so I need to convert PDF into PNG or JPEG and then import it into Procreate so now we have the ability for PDF import uh, we have recent brushes so you no longer have to look for your brush uh, you can easily detect where your uh, recently used brushes and then we have brush size memory and then we have improved adjustment new color cards large, larger text uh, single touch gestures and new languages for Procreate so I'm excited for this are you excited for this so let's press next start testing okay so please note that this is a beta so we might find bugs here and there but that's the point of me testing it today so let's start with our Procreate the new Procreate all right so uh, as normal we have the gallery uh, so we have a few uh, a few illustration here from from the commission artist so let's just create the canvas so now we're in the procreate uh, layout so i'm not really a dark user so i'm gonna change it to light interface okay so now we have a uh, an interface for the procreate so now we're gonna test out some of the features there's not much difference on the outer layout but if you click on some of the tabs there will be new elements added so for example in brushes you will now have a recent tab and then you will have the material tabs as well for you to use in 3d painting and then in the color uh, features you will now have an additional color cards for you to try in action tools under canvas we now have page assist for you so if you're uh, into animation you want to create a storyboard or a mood board you can use page assist for that and then uh, for other features for the 3d features you need to import a 3d object so i have add drop my object file to my ipad so let's see if it can open it okay so i have imported one of my blender file right here so it's not a blender file it's obj file uh it's an octopus that i did for the instagram filter so we're gonna try to open that it's here it's here look it's the octopus that i created for the filter and now i can view it in procreate so we can zoom in and zoom out and we can rotate this is amazing uh so far it is working very well and it's easy to uh it's easy to navigate around if you take a look at the brush tab you can now find the materials brushes so this is the new update for procreate 5.2 so we're gonna try some of the material brushes so let's try the d how do i pronounce this let's just try this brush oh so in the layer tab you have each of the materials separately so i'm gonna try to color on the sphere one wherever it is so let's check 
let's find the okay let's do this one okay so let's choose a color let's go for yellow because i have a yellow octopus behind me so i'm gonna go with yellow and then we're gonna <gasps> look i can paint my octopus okay so now let's try on another uh, leg. My 3D object is not perfect. It has a lot of uh, unwanted things. Okay, let's try to color this. Eyes. This is very cool. Okay, and it's very easy to use. So let's color the other eye. Let's color the other eye. I need to rename my layers properly because this is very confusing to me. I don't know which layer is which. <laughs> but that's my bed. Wow, look at that. So now it has a material. So how do we rotate it? Oh, like that. So we can rotate it. Just make sure your finger is not on the object. So you can rotate it easily look at that look at my octopus it's shiny it's a shiny octopus now so i'm gonna finish coloring all of this i love it i love the i love the ability that we can paint directly uh, on the 3d object using apple pencil because it was hard using a mouse before so this is a very cool Thing to do so we're gonna color the eyes as well so color the eyes and the mouth so i'm gonna try to look for the mouth where is the mouth is it this one no this one no <laughs> this is me looking for my uh oh this one okay we found it make sure we get all of the edges I think this is so cool. I love these features. I love these features. This is so cool. Yep. I love the features. You can move it around. You can rotate it. You can color it. So when you're in the 3D mode, when you click the action button, you will now have the 3D tab. So in 3D tab, you have the ability to show the 2D texture, paint through mesh, edit lighting and environment. So we can place the light thing wherever you require that is suitable for your product so maybe right here you can also add light and you can also add environment so you can place it at the beach at the mountain any lighting that you prefer and i just click done right there and then besides that we can view it in ar so let's try to view it in ar So now, if we're in the transform tool, we have a new uh, tab available. So we have the projection as well as the advanced uh, moving option. Okay, so for projection, there we'll have the projection tab. When you're in the 3D features at the share, besides from having a different type of file for you to export, you also have the ability to share your model in animated mp4. So let's try to see what happens when we click animated mp4. So now we have an animation of our uh, object rotating and you can also select it to do some swing and then you can also adjust the duration maybe you want it to uh, move slower and then you can also do the zoom distance so maybe you want it to zoom in real close and then you you also have the ability to adjust the ease so this is a very cool and i love this one as well and that is some of the features that we have tried today obviously i haven't explored enough because it's very new to me so i'm gonna take some time to explore uh, all the features out and test everything to the maximum capacity and then i will let you guys know on what are the new things that you could do with procreate in our next video thank you so much for joining me thank you so much procreate for this opportunity i really appreciate it so hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one bye